Welcome to Minute Critic episode four. I'm Jack Kraminski. I'm John Bregaliano. John Bregaliano sitting in for David this week. Um, uh, reviewing Harry Potter and the what, what's it called? Order, Order of the, the Phoenix. Phoenix. Okay. Um, it was it was a pretty good movie. Yeah, I thought think? it was pretty good overall. It uh, sort of definitely surpassed my expectations. Okay. Um, and I think uh, in relation to the book, I think it went along pretty well with it. I mean, I hadn't really. I didn't really remember a lot from the book, but it it kind of brought back a lot of remembrances, mm -hmm. and it reminded me a lot of it, and I liked it, and um, it was definitely very entertaining. Yeah, it was. And uh, it's definitely gonna be a huge box office hit. And yeah, it's got um uh, sixty-two thousand domestic. 60, after sixty-two two days. million in the first two days in a week release, which mm -hmm. is ridiculous. Top grossing midnight release. It made twelve. Twelve million dollars the first midnight, um, and I mean it's definitely going to be a huge movie. Yeah. Uh, I think probably the top grossing uh, movie of the this year. year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's uh, talk yeah. about it. Um, it's a new director, David Yates, and he's kind of unknown. He hasn't really done a lot of things, but uh, I definitely liked what he did. Yeah, I liked the way he did it. Uh, I thought. It should have been a little darker, but the action overall was pretty yeah. good. The plot, plot uh, definitely developed. Uh, there were some jokes, and uh, yeah, Hermione is gorgeous in this. <laughs> well, yeah, there was that, that and, thing uh, where uh, they were being accused of uh, enhancing the IMAX movie poster by giving her a little more, uh, you know, you know. Size. And uh, I was a little disappointed by... Uh, you know, in the movie. They could have been bigger, overall. Thanks for just uh, putting it out there, John. But, yes, they could have. Uh, okay, well, David Yates, I thought he did a good job. Um, the, I, I, don't, I don't really know why they switched directors, do you? No, but, um, I mean, I don't see any problem with doing it. I, I thought this one uh, was edited a little more. It was a little shorter than some of the other ones. Oh, yeah, ones. well, it's the and, longest uh, book in the shortest movie. I thought... Mm -hmm. I think, uh, I mean, one of my criticisms of it is, well, I think a lot of reasons why people like the books and like the movie so much is just like the aspect of their everyday life that goes into it. And I think by cutting this one down, they cut a lot of that stuff out. And But still, there's been uh, some criticisms of it that it's still even too long. But I thought, I thought if anything, it was a little too short. Mm -hmm. And um, let's see, uh, Dumbledore... Um, he's well. He's the, been the Dumbledore for the past. This is his third movie, mm -hmm. um, but this is really the first time I've really noticed the change in actor. Yeah. I think he was definitely different from the last one, and I don't know if that's really going along with the book in the change in character. But I don't know. I didn't really like his performance as much. Yeah, I agree. And he seemed like a lot more powerful and a lot more mm -hmm. in control in the other movies. Um, I mean, what else? Um, yeah, I, I just agree about Dumbledore. I mean, uh, I thought some of the jokes appealed to only a small audience of teenage girls. <laughs> they could have, um, you know, broadened the, uh, broadened the amount of people that, um, understood the humor. It, it wasn't really jokes, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. drier humor. Oh, yeah, a lot of those but, jokes um, they picked were, up on a lot of, were uh, really lame. I remember that. Mm -hmm. Um, but, I mean, would you go see it? Yeah, well, I, well, I, I would definitely recommend it. See it. Yeah, it's it's definitely going to be one of the big box office hits, mm -hmm. and uh, it's probably a must see. Um, and the, what the book comes out in a few days, right? Mm -hmm. the yeah, yeah, book. yeah, the next book. Um, so look forward to that. Uh, what would you give it out of five? I'd give it a four out of five. Uh, I thought they could have developed developed the plot a little more, made it a little longer, because uh, although the ending sequence I thought was uh, like a great action sequence. I didn't think uh, you felt as emotionally connected with the characters and the plot because they didn't spend enough time developing it. I just thought yeah. a, a little longer. Well, little yeah, longer. yeah, developing the, those characters like that you get in just like yeah. your everyday life. You kind of like build the relations with yeah, them. Yeah, you didn't. Um, and they they started to do that a little bit like when they were at school, but really a lot of it just didn't occur there. And I don't. I'm not. I don't really remember how that related to the book, but I mean, it's just mm -hmm. something. No, but I thought I thought this was the best of the Harry Potters, actually. You did because I, I thought the uh, I thought the whole thing about 
the, the uh, there's a change in takeover at Hogwarts, oh, yeah. which kind of resembled a, um, yeah, like, a, I can relate to some of that, the bureaucracy in schools, <laughs> so I, I found that humorous. But uh, it could also be seen as maybe more of a political thing, like, uh, you know, maybe a, a dictator taking over and implementing a lot of rules. Yeah, well, I, I don't know if the book was really... I don't know, I don't know if uh, J.K. Rowling was going for it, but... Um, let's see, there's something else I wanted to say, I can't remember... Maybe, um, I think I really liked the camera angles and the filming. Like, there would yeah. be a scene where someone was, like, running along, you'd have, or, like, coming, approaching really closely, and you have, like, a shaking camera. I really liked, I really liked what they were doing. Mm -hmm. And, um, I mean, Harry Potter's, the movie, the series, haven't really, um, been big award winners. I mean, they've no. only been... Uh, nominated for a few Oscars, but and mo uh, those are mostly in categories like, like music and costume design. That I mean, which they uh, which they were still great in. But I mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe we'll see some more nominations this mm -hmm. time. Um, and for the next movies, I think we've got the Half Blood Prince, which is the sixth book coming out next year, which mm -hmm. they've uh, slated David Yates to be the director for. Um, that's in pre-production right now. Mm -hmm. uh, should come out in two thousand eight. And then the next one, I think, has been announced for 2010, the seventh mm -hmm. book. I um, mean, that's this uh, series of movies has been pretty tremendous. I mean, it's yeah, it's absolutely. spanned. I mean, when did the first one come out? 2001. I mean, it's yeah. almost 10 years that this series that's has been. A it's decade. It's, and they're just taking yeah, it over. it's yeah. it's really it's really I mean been had a big impact on film. And. Um, so overall, just uh, could have been a little longer, a little darker, but uh, nonetheless a great movie. Oh yeah, and I, I would give it a 4 out of 5, or even a 4.5 out of 5. It was a pretty good movie, definitely see it. Alright, uh, that's pretty much Minute Critic mm -hmm. for today. Uh, I'm Jack Kraminski. I'm John Bregaliano. And that's it.